Why you know? Hey, what is this? Is this papyrus? What happened to my old font? My font is socket, remember? You probably forgot the last video, too. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! What the? Commentator? Potter climbs again! That must be flubberworm mucus. We are not hiring you, Minerva. Lee Jordan is the Blade Baron. Oh, you freaking jerk. Jordan? No favoritism. <laughs> Excellent! Wonderful! Excellent! Wonderful! Excellent! Wonderful! Excellent! 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 Excellent!
And I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but what's over there? An open gate? I can leave this godforsaken place. So then, on the same day, I wandered through the wilderness and stumbled upon Haggard's hut. He wanted me to get some fire seeds and hatch a dragon's egg or something. I did that for whatever reason, and he gives me a flute, and then he names the dragon Norbert. Then Hagrid tells me to get ready for Quidditch, implying that the game is that day. So on my second day ever at Hogwarts, I play stupid Quidditch and end the game in five seconds. So finally, finally that day is over because the next thing I know, Hermione is congratulating me again on beating Slytherin, implying that it's been one or two days. So this is a brand new third or fourth day at Hogwarts. I see Snape limping out of the third floor corridor, away from that beast Marilyn. Then I go learn Lumos from Quirrell, which apparently sucks away happiness, and do the Lumos challenge. Walking out of that challenge, that one statue told me not to trust people, and afterward I went to potions. Snape told me to get the ingredients in the dungeons, but I don't remember any of that. Then I'm back in the classroom, and Snape tells me that it's already Halloween. Now, let's look at a 1991 calendar. The first day at Hogwarts is September 1st, and that's when I got sorted. Again, classes don't start until the next day, so from Dumbledore to the Slytherin match is the September 2nd. So on the third or fourth day was the Lumos challenge in the dungeons. Now today is October 31st, so unless Hermione decide after two full months to congratulate me again on being Slytherin, I spent those two months down in the dungeons. What the heck happened down there? I don't know, but I've always been doing something that someone told me to do. Never exploring the castle for my own. Well, I, I guess I'm not allowed to do anything unless someone tells me to, so... Alright, Ron, let's go save Hermione from some troll or whatever. Corridor to the girls' washroom. It's a bathroom, not a washroom. Who says washroom anyway? Wait, wait, wait. I, I mean, uh, they, they can call it whatever they want. Uh, nothing to get mad about. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Harry, Harry must escape the troll. Is that good enough for you? Just let me out of this straight jacket already. Harry, what's that smell? Wasn't me. Oh no. Gosh, I, I hate this stupid song. What I ever do to you, troll? You never update this Let's Play. Is that what this is about? Look, look I'm sorry, man. Sorry? It's like you don't even care. But, but I do care. Just that I rarely have the motivation and the opportunity to make them. They're a lot of fun, but things just get in the way. But once I start, something just takes me over and I just work my butt off and make a part. It may be rare, but it happens. Sure it does. Look, I just want to make the best Let's Play possible. It's already taken me two years, but heck, I'm willing to take 20 years if it means making this Let's Play right. I will finish this Let's Play. Well, still suck. Is that a save game book? Uh huh, I trolled you. It's not a real save game book. <laughs> if only he knew. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, finally got away from that guy. Oh yeah, I guess Hermione's still in there. I guess we should go back. She shouldn't have to suffer through this. Okay, guess that's the plan. Wait, what's the troll doing? He's gonna start throwing things at me, jeez. Stop that! To keep that uh, I guess that's pretty smart, Ron. I am a wizard after all. What am I doing here? 
I'm just gonna hide behind you here, I think. Yeah, th this, this is a pretty smart move. Hide behind Ron. So is, is the troll just gonna keep throwing things at me? I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. He could come over me over here and like stomp on me or something. He's not very smart, obviously. How many toilets and pieces of wood are over there for him to even throw? Surely he's going to run out sooner or later. Can you just hurry it up, Ron? Are you like, trying to be as slow as possible? Or, or are you just trolling with me? Yeah, that, that's it. I want this song to end. Just, just stop it. There we go. That's good. Yeah, but like any troll, you just can't get rid of them forever. Now that was quite a bathroom blunder, now wasn't it? <laughs> but that was just one side of the story. I think you'll find that if we look at this troll instant from different perspectives, we would find a much deeper story. Let's look at Hermione's angle. Why was I so stupid, trying to fight a troll? Ah! Get away, get away, get away, get away! Holy crap, it's still the... Maybe it went away, let's see! Ah! We can also learn a lot from the perspective of the sink. Whoa, what's going on here? That troll is destroying all the stalls. He's throwing things around like crazy. I hope he doesn't throw me. Wait, what's he doing? That's Penelope Potty. No, don't throw her. No. I was going to ask her out. <laughs> now what am I going to do? I loved that toilet. Or we can look at the person that least wanted to be there. Neville. Oh, crap. This is the girl's bathroom. Uh, not again. Uh, I, I guess I just need to be quiet and wait for them to leave. Now we'll look at... Listen, man, this whole documentary thing on the troll incident, it, it isn't working out. I mean, they pulled the plug on us. What? No! We don't even have the troll's perspective yet. Yeah, but this whole thing is stupid. I mean, troll in the toilets. It, it was doomed to fail. But it really exposes the human condition. It's the Quidditch match Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw. As Gryffindor seeker, Harry must catch the Golden Snitch and help defeat the Ravenclaw team. Life is just relaxing, isn't it? Especially when you're done with your anger management classes. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings-on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! Not again. Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! <sighs> okay. Let's play Sh shut up. Quidditch! Just shut up, Lee Jordan. Okay. I've got to end this thing as soon as possible so he just stops Georgia! talking. It look, Lee, look, Lee Jordan, if I want someone narrating my life, it's going to be on, Morgan Gryffindor! Freeman, okay? But, but not Sorry. you. You of all people, Roger! no. Alright, just cut it. Just look, th there, I got this stupid snitch. You can stop talking now. Okay, woohoo, we win. Now, be quiet. Yeah, yes, yeah, sign off. Thank God. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna end this crap right now.